The first parish in Cambridge was built at the corner of Dunster and Mount Auburn Streets in 1632 and was called the First Meeting House. Thomas Hooker, the first minister, stayed for a few years before moving his congregation to escape religious persecution in 1636. Reverend Thomas Shepherd, who was responsible for the Puritan migration to New England, became the new minister. Within a year, Shepherd used his influence with the General Court of Massachusetts to place Harvard College in Newtown, later called Cambridge, a short distance away from his newly established church so that the Harvard College students might benefit from proximity to his evangelical preaching. The Harvard College yard became the site for the second, third, and fourth iteration of the meeting house, all located on the corner now occupied by the college's Lehman Hall. In 1775, George Washington worshiped in the fourth meeting house. In 1825, General Lafayette was received there with an address of welcome by Edward Everett. The church that we see in the square today was built in 1833 and is the fifth iteration of the meeting house. Harvard College commencements were held here until 1873 and six Harvard University presidents were inaugurated in this location. In 1837, Transcendentalist Ralph Waldo Emerson delivered his now famous American Scholar Address, referred to by Oliver Wendell Holmes as America's Intellectual Declaration of Independence. In the 18th century, the ministers moved the theology in a liberal direction. Specifically, Reverend William Brattle and Reverend Nathaniel Appleton amended their Calvinist preaching to encourage free inquiry and they held a tolerant and Catholic spirit towards those who differed on doctrinal matters. In 1826, the minister of the Cambridge Church was the Reverend Abiel Holmes, the father of Oliver Wendell Holmes. Holmes, who held orthodox doctrinal views, decided to break off relations with the liberals, specifically abolishing pulpit exchanges with the liberal or Unitarian ministers. After vainly attempting to persuade Reverend Holmes to return to his earlier, more inclusive practices, the parish voted to dismiss him as its public teacher of religion and morality. By 1829, most of the parish became Unitarian. Dr. Holmes and the more conservative members of his flock departed and founded the Shepherd Congregational Society. In 1899, it was agreed that the church associated with that society should be called the First Church in Cambridge, Congregational, now a part of the United Church of Christ, and this church, the first parish in Cambridge, Unitarian, now Unitarian Universalist. First parish in Cambridge, the Unitarian Universalist Church in Harvard Square, has been here for, oh, plus or minus 387 years. And over that course of time, we have been committed to social justice and change and the growth of Cambridge in general. Over the last hundred years, we've been specifically focused on people who are experiencing homelessness or challenges at staying in their homes. So this social justice that we're talking about begins with an organization called uh, Pain Senior Services, where we try to help people stay in their homes. That evolved then to incorporate uh, some work around people who needed feeding. So about 37 years ago, we started our Tuesday Meals uh, feeding program, Tuesday nights here at the church. And then more recently, we partnered with Y to Y Youth Homeless Shelter that is housed in the basement of First Parish in Cambridge, providing a safe place for young people who are experiencing homelessness. And so at this time, we're looking forward, we're looking into the future to figure out what are the ways that we can support all of the different aspects of Cambridge, uh, homeless folks, people who are longtime residents, and everyone who wants to come to Cambridge and have a great and amazing thriving time.